Okay, so. You got married. Yes. A what? year. Yeah, a year ago. So right now is our <laughs> is our first year wedding anniversary. Really? So you're married. Yeah. <laughs> you crying? Fuck. <laughs> Do you have any any marriage advice? Oh my god. I like that. Okay. Do, that. I like that. Do your finances separate? <laughs> <laughs> we eloped for the last year. Oh my god. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm very happy for you. And of course, I'm more than happy to have the Aikman family. Mm -hmm. Good. I just remembered. Um, she wants to pee on me. <laughs> <laughs> there is definitely some Aussie slang that I say that she's like, what the hell does that even mean? That was pretty tiny. So yeah, this is where we went. This is where we first FaceTime. I just love this place so much. It's so sentimental to me because Yes, we got married. We eloped in a little park in Chicago. It was actually really cute. And oh, that's good. So good. I'm so glad. And I'm so glad that it's even legal and that you're allowed to do it. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Sometimes I forget that it wasn't legal at one point. Yeah. Like I just forget that yeah. it wasn't always something that we could have done. And oh, I know. Yeah. sometimes I think about it and I'm like, wow, I'm super grateful that we can, but also then I'm just like annoyed that it was ever a thing that we couldn't. You have two little Mrs. Bankowskis. <laughs> <laughs> so Bank is gonna take you on that. Yes. Yes. That's cool. Yes, yeah, so I'll definitely be Bianca Bankowski. BB. Oh, BB. B -B. My yeah. little BB. Yeah. <laughs> so we brought you into this forest because we wanted to do a little photo shoot to commemorate something that happened this time last year. I wasn't just cry. What happened last year? I don't know what happened last year. I literally can't talk. It's oh, fine. Um, it's okay, thanks. So, so on June 3rd, 2020, in like the most private, private ceremony, me and Bianca went to a park in Chicago and got married. <laughs> what the fuck? So when are you gonna tell everyone you're married? Well, we're Even telling you guys right now. So you're gonna post this one and everyone will know. Yeah. <laughs> wow, so congrats. congrats. <laughs> what was it like? <laughs> you said good. Probably well, I was hey, did you go to the court? No. We went outside in a park. We yeah. were just out in an outdoor park, kind of like this, literally and just us. randomly, well not a random lady, but kind of, we didn't know her. She, yeah. Um, Came and us. married us. So yeah. Yeah. Wow. We have all Wait. our papers, it's all done. So, your engagement video. Like, we wanted to have an engagement I, proposal yeah. because we wanted to, we just didn't do everything in the traditional order. Yeah, this is too much information. <laughs> <laughs> One morning, I know. So now on the third, I get to finally change my name publicly to Bankowski. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the family, babe.
we obviously want to have a ceremony and we will we absolutely will have a sick event with all of our friends and family but we couldn't have that last year obviously there's so many people who have been in our situation where you couldn't have a big event because of the pandemic and stuff like that it just and it also didn't feel like the right time like yeah it didn't we didn't i didn't have the ring that i like not not that this is about the ring but we didn't have rings it was a full mm. like out of love full just natural no rings nothing involved no one was there no one was to see it wasn't like a public thing it was no. very just very private me and you being present mm -hmm. um obviously somebody else was there to um, celebrate yeah yeah but i felt like i don't know maybe it's just in today's society where it's like if you don't publicly announce that you're engaged then no one knows mm. but it's like how do you go about telling someone that um and same with being married i obviously everybody wants to get proposed to and have a have the wedding and have everybody know but like how it was a year ago from today that just wasn't in the cards no nor did it feel like it was a good time there was so much stuff going on in america like yeah like and just for us as well yeah it just didn't seem like it, it, the focus that we were i guess the focus was more on what was going on in the world it just didn't feel like the right time to announce something so exciting mm. i felt like i wanted to to wait and to have the rings and get proposed to and and have you guys be along that ride as well because it's exciting for you guys to see us on our journey just as much as it's exciting mm. for us to be on our journey as well and not just you who are watching us who don't know us personally but to our family and friends yeah as well because our family and friends didn't really get to go on that journey with us because there's also the factor of our personal lives at the time where we're from different countries and I know there's been plenty of couples who have been you know from different countries I know it's a thing people do but I don't think outsiders realize the challenges that come with that sometimes and one of those things are that it's not easy to just have a wedding or have a you know normal life <laughs> Because obviously we live in different countries, different worlds. We have totally different worlds. We have our families haven't even met, right? In Not person. face to face, but it's also like yeah. it. It takes a lot for me to even just get here, and same with Zoe, mm. just to be there. The visa so situation, those the are travel. Yeah, those are different challenges that we have to deal with to be together but i feel like now we're in a better position where we're mm. more stable of where we we know we're going to be in australia whereas mm. in america a year ago we today we had there. no idea where we were going to be at that point we had both no idea where our visas stood in either country right we had no idea about our living situation we we just at that point like that was before we even applied for you to come here. Right. Like we had no idea what was happening. And one of the major things is that I felt like for our mental health, it was not a good idea to bring others' opinions into that. Right. Family, friend, or people online, period. Like right. I didn't want any opinions because we were, we were stressed enough as it is and had to just discuss it on our own. And it was just one of those things that we couldn't, bring others opinions into so that's just the way that we decided to do it you look so cute look at you mm. right. oh, oh, jack doesn't yeah. do that jack doesn't do that <laughs> <laughs> he holds her Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah, that's good. Right, I promise it will not touch you. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, that is the fakest smile, dude. Yep. <laughs> I could see her eyes looking at the bush turkey, like. Yeah, that's cute, yeah. Alright. I can't have one left. I like that now, finally, we're established in where we're living. I feel more comfortable. Mm. 
being like, okay, well, finally we're like, we're living and our visas aren't such a, a big deal to have to deal with because they're, they're a hassle. Anybody who knows the visa process and has to pay loads of money to get a visa or do that process, that's something mm. like, that's just, it's a stress. It's a huge it's thing. It's a very big stress and I feel like that was the first year of mm. um, our, our marriage was basically just trying to find a place to live, a home. And to make now sure that, that we could just be together. Yeah, but now that we have our home, it's felt like, okay, now we can finally mm. um, start taking those steps into doing more things and mm. say that we're engaged and um, we'll I wouldn't just move the across the world to not be engaged <laughs> or be married. Um, Cause that's, that's just to me, I'm yeah. very homebody. I never thought that I would leave America and um, I did. Now I'm excited to now that you know we're, we're engaged, now you know we're married. Obviously we are gonna start planning a wedding. I think a lot of people have asked that with the engagement. But now we can start all the little details within mm -hmm. weddings and do that. Another. I already have a Pinterest board for it. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I feel like another thing is is that um, we want to plan a wedding in like two years. So it gives our families mm. time to save money, especially mm. mine. Um, I know that Australia is very far and very expensive. So it's not like... Um, also, we're very open and understanding to the fact that we have a plan now, yeah. but literally who knows where we'll be in a year. We could in a year be like, we're back in America and now my family's got to come to me. You know what I mean? Like we're really open to the fact that we don't know the future, especially I think that's what 2020 has taught everybody that you can't ever be sure or be certain which is why the main thing that we wanted to be certain about is that we can be together because for those of us for those of you who have been watching us for a while you know how much stress we went through for Bianca to come to Australia and be here with me we were so blessed and lucky that we were stuck together and got to stay together and that was our main focus so from now on out that is that's just the main focus and plans will just fall around that mm. But that's a part of marriage. You never know yeah. where you're gonna end up and what's gonna happen, where where we're gonna live, what's gonna happen in five years. And that's just a part of the journey that we take on with you guys as well, because mm -hmm. you guys get to come along on this journey with us. So um, welcome to our marriage. <laughs> welcome to the Bankowski channel. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Bianca, I love you so much. I am so, so genuinely blessed. To be your wife. I actually had really a really good time shooting in here. It actually made me think like a year ago from today why I married you and I just love like the person that I am when I'm with you and the person that I'm becoming and I feel like you really bring me out of my shell and you comfort me and make me feel warm at the same time. And I couldn't imagine being with anybody but you. And I love you. Happy one year, baby. To many more. And I can't wait for our big wedding. <laughs>